This is the most important video I ever made. It is the most important I will ever make and the statement I am making in this video is probably the most important words I ever spoke or wrote in my whole life. During this past two years, I have received so much information, all of which I have verified by research in various disciplines. So please, my friends, forgive me for not presenting things in a logical order anymore. It is just taking too much time. The problem is that the more I am verifying a revelation, the wider the scope of new information and applications become. I can't even talk and mention all these things as fast as I see the pictures with new data. It is becoming a problem because it is somewhat difficult to explain all things to people in a common understandable way. Not only that, but everything is so interlinked that it becomes very difficult for me to keep focused on any of the specific views. Frankly, telescopic views in science does not work. Thus, I am leaving this to you to take what you can, sort it in logical order for yourself and your own applications. Oh, and by the way, I am not a medium and I'm not one of those metaphysical presenters that is sitting between humans on the earth and the spiritual world somewhere. I honestly do not know and I don't understand where and how come all these concepts are coming to me. So I am presenting to you in a, the way that I see the things again. Okay, this video is about the code key to the universe. I have received this understanding about a year ago and ever since I applied it to every concept or mystery that came my way. For me, this key code was able to unlock the deepest secrets of our universe. If we want to talk about gravity or earthquakes or solar events, black holes, or even extrasensory perception of humans and animals, life forms, this key gives the code to unlock the secrets. It is really amazing. Albert Einstein and others before and since postulated that the origin of the universe was due to a Big Bang. Before the Big Bang, there was a minuscule small blob of matter which they referred to as the singularity. This singularity consisted of the building blocks of the universe. At that time, they said it was electrical, weak nuclear, strong nuclear, gravity, and magnetic forces. So when the Big Bang took place, these forces broke apart and ever since they are the building blocks. Later they discovered an error and a unified electrical and magnetic forces. Now everybody postulates the four building blocks of the universe is electromagnetic, weak nuclear, strong nuclear and the gravity forces. My friends, here is the absolute truth. There never was a Big Bang. There never was a singularity. There are no four or five blocks for building the universe. There is only one. There has always been one, and as long as the universe exists, there will only be one. Without this one single building block, there can be no weak or strong nuclear force. There can be no photons, no electricity, and there can be no gravity. In fact, we can see this complete existence of a single force in all matter. We can also see when and where this single building block is absent in our universe. Everything that we want to know about the universe is represented by this single building block. Are you ready for the truth? This is the key code to the universe and everything that exists in the universe. It's a simple binary word. I actually love that word binary. It seems to me it becomes more and more part of our universe lately. Anyway, the key code is electromagnetism. Simply only the single item, it is everything. Every electrical pulse has a magnetic effect. Every magnetic pulse has an electrical effect. If electricity or magnetism is stable or stagnant, it is not moving, it does not exist. The whole universe is built from electromagnetic pulses or movement. Everything within the universe is electromagnetic. Electromagnetism is the result of polarity. If you can remove all polarity from any matter, there will be absolutely nothing remaining. It will be ether. We can see this happening. In most galaxies, we have a black hole or more. The general perception is that black holes exist because of supergravity that sucks everything in. I think that's foolish. A black hole is actually a very interesting environment. 
It is purely an area in space where polarity is neutralized. The moment polarity ceases to exist, all matter reverts back to ether. As such, the ether can be awoken again by the presence of sound, which causes light, which will create a new polarity, which will then regenerate electromagnetism, and that will kickstart the whole process to form all matter from hydrogen to every imaginable piece of matter or molecule that has ever been possible to form from that. I conclude with this. All matter in the universe exists because of electromagnetism. Whatever answer you might seek, and whatever occurrence or incident you might want to understand better, if you use the code key of electromagnetism, you will find the secrets are no more a secret. Just go and look deeper into that object and see where is electricity or magnetic forces coming into play. Combine the two and see how that exists within that matter, and voila, it becomes magic. Enjoy, my friends.